Hey guys, welcome back to Beardman Comics. Today I'm going to draw my precious motorcycle. If you follow me on Instagram, you must have noticed how many times I have drawn this beloved artifact of mine. Growing up, I have admired motorcycles immensely. While I wasn't eligible to procure myself a driver's license back then, I ended up drawing a lot of motorcycles. And that's how I fell in love with art. And that's how I justify this meager voice, or golem voice for that matter. So without wasting any time, let's get to painting the background first. Personally, I feel intimidated before starting with a blank canvas. It can be horrifying. So I feel it's a good practice to start with the background first and gain momentum as you creep upon the subject. There is one another advantage of this process which I'll show you in the later stage. Here I'm painting a well-lit underground subway where the best sound of music can be heard from the exhaust note. Now it's time for the elephant in the room with about 47 horses at its disposal. For the muggles of the automotive world, horses means the horsepower produced by an engine. Back to the drawing board, I decide to draw a semi-detailed line work of the architecture of the motorcycle with yours truly seem to be visiting a doctor for his monthly piles appointment. I'm keeping the line work this detailed because at the later stage it will be very helpful to spot and paint the metallic bits here and there. Because naturally motorcycles have exposed engines and no flat surfaces such as a car. So detail is the key here. For the same reason, I don't bother to detail my backpack, the t-shirt or the helmet that I'm wearing. If you haven't watched that video, the link is on the top right hand side corner. Do check it out. Once done, I quickly paint underneath the line work to block the area. And as discussed in the previous video, when I had a sudden epiphany while painting the cyclist. This one is a proof that this approach is easier, less time consuming and somewhat sustainable. Now I pick up a white color and start pouring them on the chrome bits. Thanks to the negative space, detailing the most complicated area that is the engine becomes simple and fun with instant gratification. Don't believe me? No problem. Just look at this. A shiny exhaust pipe with just two strokes. Yeah. That easy. Anyway, now I start to dress myself up. Perhaps a simple white t-shirt should work. Oops, I forgot to detail the seat. Assuming a prominent light from behind, minor details with a lighter tone did the job. Using the same approach of minimum brush strokes on the boots, gloves and my left arm, I proceed to put some creases on the t-shirt. Once done, it's time for the seemingly pretty looking orange tank. I pick a combination of light and dark tones of the same orange color and give shape to the tank with an emblem to top it off. As there are several light sources, the shadow should be more than one, so I go from darker to lighter tones. Painting my adventure helmet was an easy task. Just paint underneath the line work and it's done. Wait a second, the fuel tank doesn't belong here. It's too bright for the environment. But no worries, because here's where I tell you another advantage of painting the background first. As you can see here, it's way easier to rectify the mistakes on the tiny fuel tank compared to a mammoth background. I darken the lower half of the tank considerably because there is no direct light source to it. Then I realized that I always prefer darker toned t-shirts because they don't look dirty even after wearing them for weeks. I highlight a few more creases to make it more real, followed by adding details to the backpack. And after conjuring a rear view mirror, a cute detail on the helmet, some wires and a flat headlamp, it's done. The fuel tank looks way better compared to the previous iteration. The t-shirt is clean enough to go another week. And I am very satisfied with the details on the motorcycle. Let's bring in the older artwork and see the difference. The newer tank looks much better and with the tiny details on the backpack, the t-shirt, wires, etc. makes it more pleasing. In conclusion, I would like to say that it's surprisingly easier to correct your mistakes instead of just thinking about it. And this is a specimen for you. Which one do you like? Share your thoughts about the video in the comments below and let's see if you can name the motorcycle. Also check out my Instagram Beardman Comics for more such illustrations that I put up on a daily basis. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.